Today, we're going to ride the Polar Express. Look at this cute family. They're in their flannels and everybody matches. And there's little Levi. Are you excited to go on the Polar Bear Express? I can't see you either. I know your eyes are closed. I can't see you, so don't be shy. <laughs> Have the best of time, guys. Here we are. We've got another family here going on the Polar Bear Express. This is Adrian. Are you excited? Yeah? Are you scared to go to the North Pole? No? Oh, me neither. It's going to be so much fun. You guys look darling. I love the matching flannels and the Santa hat. Thank you so much. Have fun. Hi, guys. Which, what is it? Partner? Parker. Parker. Oh, hi, Parker. You look just like the elf on the shelf. <laughs> and what's your name? Aiden. Aiden. You guys look so cute. You don't worry about going off the rails once we go up to the North Pole? No. Okay. You're going to have some hot chocolate and a cookie? Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a good time. And your outfits are so great. I just want to get you the whole way. Look at that. Near and dear to our hearts. It's chosen just for you. So maybe by the end of our journey today, I hope you can think hard and keep your heart open. And maybe you'll know what the stamp means. Welcome aboard, Lila. We're happy to have you. This is exactly where that is. This is the Polar Bear Express. Look at that. Those decorations. And show me your golden ticket. Did he stamp it? Where does it? Where did he put a stamp? Did he punch it? I thought he punched it. Oh, right there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. He made he made a mark on it right there. How about mine? Oh, look, he made a mark on mine, too. See right there? Look at that. Holy smokes. I'm going to get you, too. as you want because they're playing loud. Good. Nice. Personally stamped your golden tickets. I would like for each of you to now hold that ticket up and in front of you like this. This is your crucial year. So I would keep those tickets in a very safe place if I were you. And I look forward to coming through your car very soon to see them. And one more thing. I would like to take this moment to congratulate each of you for climbing aboard and joining us on this very special journey where a change of heart just might occur. See, one thing about trains, it doesn't matter where they're going. What matters is deciding to get on. at any moment. Oh my gosh. We can go anywhere, really. Like you said, this is a magic train. important question. Are you coming? Oh, are you, you coming? Oh, yeah. come, on, come on, I have a schedule to keep. I repeat, are you coming? Yeah! All aboard! The Polar Express!
single one of these light bulbs is full of magic for all of us. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh my gosh, that must mean we are at max magic power. We're moving! for this unscheduled stop. I am heading outside to see what is me? causing the delay. Well, As you know, please stay with us. Clear those caribou off the track. Clear those caribou off the track. Clear those caribou off the track. Hold out the holly, put up the tree before my spirit falls again. Fill up the stocking. I may be rushing things once that the halls again now. Or we need a little Christmas right this very minute. Candles in the window, carols at the spinning. Yes, we need a little Christmas right this very minute. It hasn't snowed a single flurry, but sounds like you were in a hurry. So climb down the chimney, put up the brightest string of lights I've ever seen. Slice up the fruit cake. It's time we hung some tinsel on that evergreen bough. For we need a little Christmas right this very minute. Candles in the window, carols at the spinach. Yes, we need a little Christmas right this very minute. We need a little Christmas now. Okay, everyone. Get ready to see Santa! So let's practice our Christmas way! We'll start centering, go all the way out and back to center. Ready? Go! Oh, 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 oh. And bring it back! Bring it back! Bring it back! Bring it back. Bring it back. For we need a little Christmas right this very minute. Candles in the window, carols at the spinach. Yes, we need a little Christmas. Right this very minute, it hasn't sold a single flurry, but Santa dear, we're in a hurry. Oh, we need a little Christmas. Right this very minute, candles in the window, carols at the spinach. Yes, we need a little Christmas. Right this very minute, we need a little Christmas now. Everyone, how many of you can see me? 
Maybe some of you can, some of you can't, but one thing is for sure, seeing is believing, am I right? Seeing is believing. Oh, now, where's my man is? For those of you who can see me, allow me to introduce myself. I am the proud owner of this train. It's like I'm the king of this train. The king of the Polar Express. I hop aboard this Rattler anytime I feel like it. Because I like to meet the Polex passengers who are all on this very important journey. And I'm very curious about those golden tickets of yours. For those of you that has a golden ticket, hold them up for me, will ya? High in the air. Golden tickets high in the air. Well, looky, looky there. Those are official, authentic, genuine tickets to ride. If I was you, I'd keep those in a safe place. They was given all of you for a reason. Even some of you, can I say, of the elder persuasion who maybe forgets things. Maybe you're a doubter. Maybe because you don't see. You don't remember. And maybe this is your crucial year. Sometimes the most real things in the world are the things we can't see. Are there any Polar Express passengers in need of refreshments? Anyone for... Hot chocolate!
Oh wow, we've got cookies too. Shortbread. Oh, shortbread and hot chocolate. How can you beat that, huh? Do you want me to open your shortbread? Yeah? Okay. Attention Polar Express passengers. This is your conductor speaking. I have another question for you. Why was the elephant escorted off the train? Because he didn't want to leave his trunk in the baggage car. <laughs> He got all those extra classes. You get it, Layla. Oh. <laughs> he likes you, Layla. Extra butter. Thank you. I'll be here. Oh, my top ten. Time to take a closer look at your golden ticket. My ticket has something stamped on it. So does mine, but I don't know what it means. It looks like it says L.P. Mine looks like a single letter. Everyone has something stamped on their ticket that was chosen just for them. And by the end of our journey today, everyone should know what their stamp means. Here aboard the Polar Express. Also known as a Baldwin 284 S3 class steam locomotive built in 1931. Act the Baldwin locomotive works. Also known as the Magic Train. The Magic Train. Speaking of magic, what's the name of the magical guy who lives at the North Pole? On the count of three, I want everyone to shout his name. Ready? One, two, three. Santa! That's right, Santa. And on the count of three, can everyone shout what Santa says? Ready? One, two, three. Oh. I want to believe. But it's all a bunch of humbug. We just want to circle show this department store. Santa in the window is a mechanical robot. Aha! And you feel duped, railroaded, bamboozled. You saw something in life that made you doubt. It's the end of the magic, huh, kid? I don't know. Well, remember, sometimes the most real things in the world are the things we can't see. What about my ticket? What about it? There's something stamped on it. It looks like a letter. What does it mean? What does the stamp on your ticket mean? Nothing I need to know. Let me ask you something, kid. What do you hear? I don't hear anything. I think the bell on your hat is broken. Let me ask all of you who can see me. Raise your hand if you can hear my bell. Hardly anyone hears it. I'd hold on tight to those golden tickets. This is your crucial year. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Young lady, why aren't you in your seat? Oh, oh, oh. We're talking to the King of the Polar Express. Who? That guy right there? Can't you see him? I don't see anyone, and I don't hear any... Wait. I do hear Do you hear it, Liz? I hear it now. It's the sound of a ringing bell. Oh, I hear the bell. Oh. Can you hear the bell? I need you to please take your seat. Thank you. Passengers, it's time for your help with the sound effects That's we created the earlier. Let's review. Let's hear the, the train whistle. Ready? One, two, three, go! Woo! And the steam train stopping. Ready? One, two, three, go! Remember, we need everyone's creative participation while we tell you our favorite story, The Polar Express by Chris Van Allsburg. Wait, let's add a sound. And Elise is going to announce the name of the story once more. And this time we need everyone to ooh or ah, like when you see fireworks in the sky. Let's try it, okay? I'll cue you. And Elise, go ahead. We present. Let the story begin. On Christmas Eve, many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound. A sound a friend had told me I'd never hear. The ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. There's the boy you wanted to there see. There is no Santa, my friend. Santa? He insisted. 
But I knew he was wrong. Late that night, I did hear sounds, though not of ringing bells. From outside came the sounds of hissing steam and squeaking metal. I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. Let's hear the sound of the steam train stopping and go. Turn the engine off. Turn the engine off. It was wrapped in an apron of steam. Snowflakes fell lightly around it. A conductor stood at the open door of one of the cars. He took a large pocket watch from his vest, then looked up at my window. I put on my slippers and robe. I tiptoed downstairs and out the door. All aboard! The conductor cried out. I ran up to him. Well, he said, are you coming? Are you coming? Well, I asked and sped away. Can you help me turn the page, please? On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened our presents. When it looked as if everything had been unwrapped, Sarah found one last small box behind the tree. It had my name on it. Inside was the silver bell. There was a note. Found this on the seat of my sleigh. Fix that hole in your pocket. Signed, Mr. C. I shook the bell. It made the most beautiful sound my sister and I had ever heard. But my mother said, oh, that's too bad. Yes, said my father. It's broken. When I'm shaking the bell, my parents had not heard a sound. At one time, most of my friends could hear the bell, but as years passed, it fell silent for all of them. Even Sarah found one Christmas that she could no longer hear its sweet sound. Though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me, as it does for all who truly believe. Passengers of the Polar Express, this is your conductor speaking with a journey update. Considering the climate in which we are now traveling, the outdoor temperature has dropped considerably, so I would advise all uh, Excuse me, Mr. To... Conductor, sir, but I have a plan to fight the chill. Carry on. Let's all warm up by doing one of my favorite things, the Polar Twist. I love the Polar Twist. On each chorus of the song, we want all our passengers to stand and do the Polar Twist with us. We will let you know when it's time to dance, but first, let's start by warming up our hands.
about this time of the year when everyone comes home with all this Christmas cheer. It's hard to be alone. Putting up the Christmas tree with friends who come around. It's so much fun when Christmas comes to town. Presents for the children wrapped in red and green. All the things I heard about but never really seen. No one will be sleeping on the night of Christmas Eve. Hope oh, Santa's on his way. I have a confession to make. I love a lot of days and I love a lot of holidays, but Christmas has got to be my absolute all-time Entire year. Do you love Christmas? Oh, What's your favorite part about Christmas? The cookies? Like the cookies? Song. 
Dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh. For the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ho, 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 a long time till we make his spirits cry. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! What fun it is to ride and sing the same song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse so busy. Hey, hey, jingle bells, nice and bells, jingle all the way. It's so much fun that you get to sing with your friends and dance with them. Oh <laughs> I've heard you've lost something, young lady. And Layla here found this. It has your name on it. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Layla. There's no greater gift than the gift of friendship. Merry Christmas, Layla.
I'll hold your whistle. <laughs> I like candy things. You're one of my favorites. You're very welcome. Can you give it a shake? Good! Merry Christmas. Merry oh, Christmas. I like your shirt too. Thank you. Oh, Merry Christmas. Shingle <gasps> bell. Spirit and Christmas lies in your heart for all who truly believe. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, <laughs> Santa! Layla and I really enjoyed this train ride, the Polar Express out of Miami, and highly recommend it during the holiday season.